Good morning my friends, my name is Fabri and today we finally got some incredible picture of LEGO Star Wars 2016 summer set. All the pictures are courtesy of Brick to Bottoms. So check out their amazing website for more articles and information. I leave the link in the description. I'll try to cover all LEGO Star Wars 2016 summer set. So if you want any information on the other sets, check out my channel or my LEGO playlist in the description. The sets will come out in June and are really, really awesome. If you ask me, probably the best wave in a long time. But now, don't waste our time, I'll focus on this set. 75148 Encounter on Jakku 540 pieces, 59.99 US dollar. I really have mixed feelings about this set. I like the minifigures so, so much. We get, of course, Ray and BB 8 which is always nice, but we also get two exclusive characters with completely new mold. Tido is the desert rider, kind of Tatooine Tuscan, and in the First Awakens movie he tries to steal BB-8 and is stopped by Rey. He has a kind of breathing machine head mold and a very long stuff. He rides a Laga Beast, something close to a desert horse, which is actually a build, very complete, colorful and accurate to the movie. Then Rey goes to the market, where she wants to exchange metal junk with food rations. And here comes Anker Platt, the big alien. Its head torso mold is very complex with a lot of different color printings. Very impressive and surely not easy to mass produce. I think that these two new molds are the reason why the set costs so much. And here comes my problem. If you count the pieces, it has 530 bricks, but it's $59.99, so very far from 10 cents per piece. I think that it's overpriced, $45 would have been a perfect price. So this is the reason why I think this is a cool set, remind me so much of Moses Lee Cantina, but it's too small for the price. I expected a bigger market and maybe another minifigure for that money. The market itself isn't so big. There is a place where Uncle Plug gives the food rations, and the back where there are droid wastes and an half battle droid. The roof is made with a solar curtain printed, really a nice touch. But the biggest play feature is probably the Laga Beast itself that can move in all of its parts. So overall my advice is to wait for the price to decrease. There are other much better sets in the lineup, check out the X-Wing Resistance video if you want to know what I mean. And surely this two minifigure will go mad on eBay, so probably the best way to get them is to buy this set. Hope you liked this small impression, very quick analysis. If you did, go Kylo Ren on the subscribe button for more Star Wars Summer 2016 sets. And what's your opinion? Tell me in the comment section what do you like of this set. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao! Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feel